Hi scholars, this is Missy and it is reading time. We are going to read an engagement text and a decodable. I want you to shout it's reading time. Materials. So go ahead and put your thinking cap on. We have three new learning targets for today. Please follow along with me as I read them. Our first learning target says, using evidence from the text, I can answer questions about the text babies. The second learning target says, I can read the high frequency words, usually, eight, animal, people, around, that, there, and you. The last learning target says, I can read the decodable text, babies. Read aloud. Listen carefully as I read the text, babies. At the end, I'm going to be asking you a few questions, so make sure you're listening. Do you know that every person and creature in the world used to be a little baby? A human baby is called an infant. Monkey babies are also called infants. Monkeys and humans are both mammals, which means they carry their babies inside their bodies until they are ready to be born. Fish do not keep their babies in their body until they are ready to be born. Instead, female fish lay many eggs, which hatch into baby fish. A baby fish is called a fry. Most fish babies have a yellow sac attached to their belly for the first hours or days of their life. This sack feeds them until they swim on their own and can find their own food. Now on to some furry babies. A baby rabbit is called a bunny, but it is also sometimes called a kitten. Female rabbits can give birth to as many as 14 babies at a time. Although a mother rabbit does not lay eggs like a bird does, she does make a nest. The nest is used to hide her bunnies from predators and to keep them warm. Now let's talk about some creepy crawly babies. Maggots. A maggot begins as an egg and then hatches into a larva, also known as a maggot. The maggots are white and legless. These maggots search for a dark place where they begin to pupate. Soon, they become an adult also known as a fly. Like maggots, baby birds come from eggs, but they are not legless and wingless. They are blind and naked when they're first born. Though, a baby bird is called a hatchling. Hatchlings do not leave the nest at first, so they must be fed by their parents. A hatchling makes a chirping sound called food begging which alerts its parents to put food straight into its mouth. They sometimes do this as frequently as every 15 minutes. Whether the baby is furry or feathered, comes from an egg or from their mother's belly, most babies have one thing in common. They're all pretty cute. Question and answer. Let's talk about what we just read. My first question is, what type of text is this? If you said this is an informational or nonfiction text, you are correct. Here's my next question. In the text, we learned that the maggots are born legless and wingless. What does this mean? The suffix less on the end of a word means without. So maggots are baby flies that are born without legs and wings. Here's my last question. A fish baby known as a fry has a sac attached to its body when it is born. What does it mean to be attached? It means to be joined or fastened to something. If you made it through this section, 
Go ahead and give yourself a silent celebration. Woodwork. It's time for us to look at some high frequency words and add them to our snap or trap chart. Remember, we will put words that play fair or follow rules that we know in the snap column and words that don't play fair or are not spelled how we would expect in the trap column. Here we go. The first word is eight. In this word, we see the spelling pattern E-I-G-H. This is a tricky spelling pattern because I hear the long A sound, but there is no A in this word. This word doesn't play fair, so it goes in our trap column. Our next word is usually. This word has four syllables. First, we have an open syllable U that's a snap to read. Then I see a syllable SU that I may expect to say Sue, but instead I have a new sound that we haven't discussed yet, Ja. That's a tricky sound. The next syllable I see is AL, which sounds like L, instead of what we'd expect from a closed syllable. Lastly, LY does make the sound we'd expect, Lee. This word has some patterns we expected and some were tricky. So this is a trap word. The next word is there. I see E-Y, which we talked about making the E sound, but I don't hear that sound. I also see an E on the end of the word, which is tricky. For this reason, there is a trap word. Here's our next word. Around. I hear two syllables in this word. First, we see the letter A, which is a sound that stands alone as the first syllable of a word. We also see this in words like awake and away. Next, the syllable round has the vowel team O-U, which can sound like ow, and it does. This word is a snap word. Here's our next word, that. This word is a closed syllable that has the digraph TH followed by the short A sound. That's a snap to read. Here's our last word. U. I see the vowel team OU again. This time it sounds like OO, which is another sound that we know this vowel team can make. U is a snap word. Great work, friends. Fluency. Now we will read our decodable reader for this cycle, babies. Try to remember these high frequency words. And as we read together, jump up every time you hear one. The words are usually, eight, animal, people, around, that, there, and you. Watch for the blue underlines to help you know when to jump. Here we go. Just like people, animals have babies. A human baby is called an infant. Monkey babies are also called infants. Monkeys carry their babies around just like people. Do you think they cry like human babies? As you can see, we have a few high frequency words. Animals, around, and people. Make sure you jump every time you hear a high frequency word. Did you know that a baby fish is called a fry? The female fish usually lays many eggs. The baby fry hatches out of an egg. Some baby fish hide and rest in the rocks until they are ready to swim and find their own food. We have one high frequency word, usually. A rabbit's baby is called a bunny. Bunnies can also be called kittens. Does that remind you of another animal? That's right. Cat babies are also called kittens. Female rabbits make a nest to keep the bunnies warm and safe. We have two high frequency words on this page. Starting from the top, we have animal and that. Female cats give birth to around four or five kittens at a time. 
but they can sometimes have as many as nine. A group of kittens is called a litter. We have one high frequency word on this page, around. You've probably seen a baby dog before. These babies are called puppies. Like kittens, a group of puppies is called a litter. A female dog may give birth to only one or maybe as many as seven or eight puppies in a litter. We have two high frequency words. Starting from the top, we have you and eight. Now onto a baby that's not quite as cute, a maggot. A maggot is a baby fly. It does not look like a fly, though flies have wings and legs, but maggots are white and legless and wingless. We have one high frequency word on this page and it is bats. Like fish, baby birds come from an egg. The female bird lays eggs in a nest. She takes care of the eggs until they hatch. When they are first born, they're called hatchlings. We have one high frequency word again, there. Which baby is your favorite? The furry ones like puppies, bunnies, or kittens? Or do you like insect babies like a maggot or a caterpillar? Or do you like the fish fry baby? Or a feather baby like a hatchling? Closing reflection. Which high frequency words were not tricky for you to read? Which were tricky for you to read? You did a great job reading today. Don't forget to practice high frequency words and read books that you're interested about. I can't wait to see you next time and keep up the great work.